So we are going to apply in this case product and sum. Correct. So looking for two numbers whose product is minus 20 and sum is minus 8. So one is positive, one is negative. Of course, we'll do x minus 10 times x plus 2. Correct. So these two numbers satisfy. Here we have minus. So first step is take minus common. All are even numbers. Take 2 also common. Then we get x square plus 5x. Divide them all by minus 2 plus 4. Product of 4 sum of 5. So that means we have x plus 4 times x plus 1. That gives you the result, right? This is difference of squares. We could write this as 6x whole square minus 7 square. And now we can factor this as 6x plus 7 times 6x minus 7. Now here we have a quadratic equation where we want product to be 5 times 3 as 15. And the sum should be equal to 8. So the numbers are 5 and 3, right? That should give you sum of 8 and product of 15. So we'll split 8a. We'll write this as 5a square plus 5a plus 3a plus 3. And that is equal to 5a common. We got a plus 1 plus 3 common a plus 1. And now a plus 1 is common. We are left with 5a plus 3. So that is the factored form. Perfect. Let's move on to the last question. So I hope it was not very difficult. Now here we have slightly different kind of equation, rather expression. X minus 1 is a common factor. So we'll take X minus 1 and we are left with minus 5Y plus 3Z. That is the answer. Now we have 4 times minus 5. So we're looking for a product of minus 22, right? And the sum should be minus 8. So what are those numbers? This time the negative number has to be bigger, right? So minus 10 and 2 will work for us. So we'll write this as 4x squared minus 10x plus 2x minus 5. So we could take 2x common here. So we get 2x minus 5 and in this case oh, we cannot take anything common so 1 is common right so 2x minus 5 so we have 2x minus 5 as one factor and 2x plus 1 as the other factor now we could do group factory we can group them and then factor we have 3 and a common so we have x plus y in this case, we have two common, x plus y, and so we could write x plus y times 3a plus 2. The last one here involves a perfect square. You could write 4a square as 2a whole square, 49 as 7 square. The center term is twice 7 times 2a, and therefore, I could write this as 2a minus 7 whole square. Correct? So that's the end of our test paper. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.